people working on my house. I've got lots of masks on. I think that's good. Hello everyone, this is Daniel with Plumpy Thimble and it is April 15th and we're, we're still here. I have been holed up in my home for the last few weeks, like I'm sure most of you have been as well, um, leaving to get groceries, a few things like that. Uh, and so I thought, well, this would be a good time to start that vlog that everyone's been super interested in. And we've had a number of requests from Twitter for me to start a vlog, and uh, specifically from... That's weird, I can't find any requests now. So we'll give it a shot. Starting with something that I think I haven't really done in a little while, which is a channel update. As of right now, I'm up to 917 subscribers, which is huge. So thank you to everybody that's subscribed to the channel. Um, as I mentioned before, in the past when I've done channel updates, it's, not, you know, there's numbers that I'd like to see, but not ones that I expected to reach. And so with that in mind, we've kind of put an arbitrary goal that actually unlocks quite a few features in YouTube uh, at the thousand mark. So if we can reach a thousand subscribers, um, that's my current short-term goal here. And if we can manage to do that, I'm thinking that we will try something a little bit different in live streaming a game. And if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook, you'll know kind of what I have in mind, but I'm gonna be live streaming the game, top 10 games you can play in your head by yourself. We'll probably be doing the second adventure, which is space. I've already played through the first one, adventure. Um, so I think this is going to be a real treat for all of you to sit and watch. Obviously with people needing to stay home more, it's made it more difficult to get some games played for review, which is why they've kind of slowed down a bit. Um, thankfully, there are three games that I have that I can start reviewing. I just want to play them, like honestly, even just one more time to get a better feel for them. Uh, and those three are Imperial from Level 99 Games, Slide Quest from Blue Orange Games, and Ocean from North Star Games. Uh, Spoiler, I've really enjoyed all three of them, so I'm excited to get them out. Uh, there's a fourth game that uh, I was most excited to get to review and, and play. Unfortunately, it's a party game, and it really plays... Well, it's it's guerrilla marketing from Roxley Games, and in this one, it's a little like Telestrations, where you've got these flip books of dry erase books... Uh, except instead of pictures, it's marketing ideas. You're putting down movie titles. You're putting down catchphrases for those movie titles. Um, and it sounds like a, a really funny, really, really good time that unfortunately I can't get a bunch of people together to play. So uh, we've been considering trying to play versions of it online over Zoom. Uh, there's some difficulties with that, but this is one I really can't wait not only to review, but can't wait to get my hands on and play a little bit more. So now in terms of playing games, it's a little more difficult being locked down. I've got my two kids, for sure, um, but they're younger. Um, and then I have my wife. So th those are my primary gaming people right now, unless I go online and play on Zoom or Tabletop Simulator. Um, so in these videos, I'd like to focus a little bit on some of the games that I have been playing that, that probably wouldn't have popped up nearly as much uh, if I weren't in the certain situation that I'm in. And maybe you can find some value in that. Uh, first, and one that I've played a, a whole lot is Rolling Realms from Jamie Stagmeyer, Stonemeyer Games. Uh, but as, as the title Rolling Realms suggests, it's a roll and write game. What it does that's a little bit different is it creates nine mini games out of nine Stonemeyer titles. And what you do is you pick three of those mini games, those three little boards here, uh, and in any one game you pick any assortment of the three that you'd like. And those are the three that you're trying to score. And then whoever gets the most points after, what, uh, nine rounds? Yeah, that makes sense. Whoever gets the most points after nine rounds wins the game. Each round consists of rolling two dice and allocating them uh, according to the rules, usually just one per realm. So at the end of nine rounds, you tally up who has the most points, who has the most uh, victory stars, and whoever has the most wins. And each, and the flavor for each of these different mini games is all really different, which for a game that lasts probably a total of 10 minutes max. It gives you a ton of different flavor with a lot of different variety, and it's something you can play solo, which honestly, that's all I've done with this, is I've just tried to beat my score, try different mix up of realms, um, and it's really, really cool. The only downside is, is that it's a living game in that this here is version seven. As you can see, I've laminated it so I can play it over and over, which is nice, um, except that we're, we're now on version eight. So yeah, I will be sending Stonemeyer an invoice for uh, for the laminating pouches. Um, but Rolling Realms, this is kind of 
been something that I can easily play. It's very relaxing. The rules are printed right at the top. It's very, very simple. There is an FAQ um, that you can print out if you have any questions. Uh, and I'll put a link to it in the video description as well. But something that I find it's really cool in this time is stuff like this. Publishers giving print and plays out to people for free, knowing that things are weird right now. Uh, there's certain publishers that are offering a percentage of their sales to local game stores because they know it's it's really hurting sort of the smaller economy. And there's there's this general outpouring of creativity and generosity that's coming from the gaming community. Um, and not to say that there isn't any negative stuff, that's, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying it's neat that in this time where things are a little bit uncertain and things are not fun, that these companies that, that make money off of fun are coming together and offering different things. And it's not just big companies, it's individuals as well. We're seeing indie RPGs being offered for free. We're seeing a ton of print and plays, a lot of roll and write stuff like this is really handy. Uh, and yeah, in the midst of isolation, we're seeing an outpouring of community. Uh, and that's in large part thanks to the technology that we have today. So anyway, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'll be working here probably for at least uh, the rest of the month, if not a little bit longer. Yeah, and I'd like to get these out, talk a little bit about uh, kind of what I'm doing here in quarantine. Maybe talk about some things that interest me or that I find cool that aren't board gaming. Let you know a little bit more about who I am as a person, um, if that's interesting. And if not, these will be short and you can just ignore them. So anyway, today's takeaway, check out Rolling Realms. Um, if we can reach a thousand subscribers on the YouTube channel, I will be playing one of these 10 games that you can play in your head by yourself. Um, yeah, oh yeah, look. I just gotta aban abandon all artichokes. Congratulations to Emma Larkins for getting this published um, through Game Right. Um, really fun, svelte little game. Um, yeah, anyway, that's all I've got for now. We'll see how often I get these out, but see you next time. I'm not going anywhere. You guys probably aren't either.